how to perform mail merge in ms excel using the ms word so as here you can see i have this sample database right here which consists of the employee name and their respective employee id and the employee ids are mapped with the employee names so in this tutorial we will see how you can use the mail merge so that the ms word gains access to this particular data and use that to automatically fill out details especially if you are creating mass letters or let's say notices in the name of a lot of people so let me show you how to do this so once you have successfully created your employee data you need to open the ms word so now we are in our ms word and now let's type a sample letter so as here you can see this is our sample letter that we want to create in name of each and every employee listed out in our excel sheet so as here you can see here we will paste the name field so it will contain all the name which were present in the excel sheet and in this particular field we will apply the employee id for all the employees so let me show you how to do this so the first thing that you will need to do is click onto this mailings tab at the top and then at the mailings tab you need to click onto this start mail merge and from here choose the type of document it could be letters email messages envelopes labels etc so for this demonstration i will be going with the letters option then click onto this select participants button and click onto this use an existing list so once you'll click onto this it will open the file explorer and from here you will need to select that particular excel sheet in which we contain the employee data so let's do this so once i have selected the data or the excel sheet you can see that the ms word is processing it and it will give you a dialog box like this so if that particular excel document contains multiple sheet you can choose the particular sheet that you require from this particular dialog box once you have selected that you need to click onto this ok button and it will process it again and your data will be successfully linked to the ms word and now you can see that we are able to access a number of different types of features here so now we will first try to add a name field so simply remove this sample placeholder and instead you need to click onto this insert merge field once you'll click here you can see this name option from the ms excel sheet so click onto this name option and here you can see that the name field has been added now similarly do this for the employee id so remove this and click onto this insert merge field and select employee id now the employee id has been added if you want to confirm whether the connection is successful so what you can do is click onto this preview results and here you can see that the first field has been successfully added that is the name is rohit mehta and the employee id is emp001 you can verify the same in your excel sheet as well so now we are in the excel sheet and here you can see that the first name and the employee id matches with the one that we saw in ms word so if you want to switch to another employee you can click on to this arrow right here and here from here it will process it again and it might also take some time but you will be eventually able to see different entries which are listed and now you can see that we have also accessed the second employee name and similarly you can access the different employees name in this preview results now let's try to create the different types of letters in a form of pdf for each and every data or for each and every employee so how you can do this is by simply clicking onto this option that says finish and merge so simply click onto this finish and merge and from here you have three options the first one is to edit individual documents so if you still want to edit individual documents you can click here and from the merge records you can click onto this all records and click onto this ok button and from here you can see the individual letters that have been successfully created in the name of different employees also make sure since our original excel sheet contains 
till employee 5 so there will be all the letters till employee 5 but it has also created some additional since we selected all so in that case you need to make sure that you only select those entries that are already present in your excel sheet but apart from that the main work that we wanted to do has been successfully completed so that's all for this video do make sure to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching and have a nice day